associating partners with Allah. Number two, bid'ah, innovations. Bid'ah, innovations. Number three, major sins. Kaba'ir in Arabic, major sins. Number four, minor sins. Minor sins. Sagair. Number five, the halal. Halal is one of the traps of the shaitan, by the way. Okay? Number six, giving more priority to the least rewardable over the most rewardable. In other words, the least rewardable deed has more precedence over the most rewardable deed. This needs explanation. Just write it down. The seventh obstacle, the obstacle of direct confrontation with the shaitan. Direct confrontation. Imam Ibn Qayyim said, this is Aqabat al muragama wrestling station. There you will be wrestling with Iblis. If time permits, we'll cover all of them. If not, question time. Ask me so we can mention them. All right? Inshallah. First one, shirk. What is shirk? Before we explain shirk, we need to know the antithesis, the opposite of shirk. What's the opposite of shirk? Tawheed, mashallah. So the opposite of shirk is the tawheed. So if you know the tawheed, then you will know the the shirk. If you don't know the tawheed, how can you know the shirk? True or not? Okay. So the tawheed is to single out Allah with all your deeds. All our deeds should be for whom? For Allah. Our prayer for whom? Our fast, our siyam, for Allah. Our sacrifice for whom? Allah. Inna atainakal. Kawthar, fasalli li rabbika, wanhar. Okay, verily we have given you the fountain. So pray for your Lord and over your sacrifices to whom? To Allah. All my ibadah should be for Allah. How about tawaf? Is tawaf ibadah? Circumambulating the house of Allah, the Kaaba, it is ibadah. Right? Ibadah or not? Okay, it is ibadah. It's an act of worship. Allah says, وَلْيَطَّوَّفُوا بِالْبَيْتِ الْعَتِيقِ وَلْيَطَّوَّفُوا بِالْبَيْتِ الْعَتِيقِ And let them circumambulate the ancient house. So the tawaf should be done only around the Kaaba. So ibadah for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Only Allah. Worship no one but Allah azza wa jal. So the first trap is the shirk. You will not be able to escape and overcome this barrier or obstacle without knowing the Tawheed. So that's why you have to study the Tawheed in order to avoid the shirk. Because if you fall into the trap of shirk, you will never, never enter the Jannah. Who said that? Allah. إِنَّهُ مَنْ يُشْرِكْ بِاللَّهِ فَقَدْ حَرَّمَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ الْجَنَّةِ وَمَأْوَاهُ النَّارِ وَمَا لِلظَّالِمِينَ مِنْ أَنصَرِ Whoever associates with Allah any partner, whoever associates with Allah any partner, فَقَدْ This قَدْ means an article حرف تحقيق means an article of surety, which means most certainly the Jannah, paradise garden, is prohibited for him. He will never smell the fragrance of the Jannah. And his abode, his place, a nar, Jahannam, the fire. وَمَا لِلظَّالِمِينَ مِنْ أَنصَارِ and for the wrongdoers, there will not be anyone to help. Wrongdoers means mushriks. In another place, Allah says, Inna Allah la yaghfiru an yushraka bih. 
ويغفر ما دون ذلك لمن يشاء ومن يشرك بالله فقد افترى اثما عظيما We Muslims believe that the only sin which is unforgivable there is unforgivable sin is the shirk so the shirk is the only sin that Allah will not forgive anything else else Allah forgives adultery Allah forgives fornication Allah forgives stealing Allah forgives killing Allah forgives anything Allah forgives but the shirk if you die upon shirk Allah will not forgive it but he forgives even the shirk if you repent before you die if you make tawbah before you die Allah will also forgive you so the shirk is trap number one how to overcome it you need to know the tawheed and the shirk has many levels or many aspects or types number one what we call it shirk akbar major shirk this is major shirk it takes the person out of islam you become murtad upstate major shirk and that is to offer the ibadah the worship to anyone other than allah you pray to other than allah you ask other than allah so the major shirk that you offer ibadah active worship to other than allah that is major shirk this takes a person out of islam there is another type which is not major a person who commits or perpetrates this sin minor shirk that this will not take him out of islam like what you know fortune tellers magicians soothsayers palmists psychics so to go to such people and ask them for something and you believe them if you believe them prophet muhammad said then that makes you a disbeliever you disbelieve in the quran if you believe in what they are saying and if you just go for just the sake of inquisitiveness your prayers will not be accepted for 40 days 40 40 days your prayers will not be accepted